Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm taking you on a little journey into the world of silence. Or at least the world where silence is just one button press away. I'm here to answer a question I think a lot of people have. Are noise cancelling headphones actually worth it? So if you ever wondered, should I buy noise cancelling headphones, you're definitely not alone. Let's talk about how they work, what they're good for and what they might not do as perfectly as you would hope. Alright, let's get into it. First off, how does active noise cancellation even work? And what's the difference between passive and active noise cancellation? Let's start with passive noise cancellation because honestly it's the simpler one. Passive noise cancellation is basically just a fancy way of saying blocking out sound physically. It's like cupping your hands over your ears, but with headphones designed to seal around them. They create a barrier that blocks out high pitched sounds to an extent. But when it comes to deep rumbles or consistent noise like an engine, you really need the big guns, active noise cancellation. Active noise cancellation, or ANC, is a bit more high-tech. It uses tiny microphones built into the headphones to listen to the sounds around you. Things like the hum of a bus engine, airplane noise, or even that coffee shop buzz. The headphones then create a second sound wave, basically the opposite, that cancels out the noise. This is called destructive interference. So, when those two sound waves meet, they cancel each other out, making it feel like that background noise has just disappeared. Now you might be thinking, can ANC headphones cut out all noise? Not exactly, they're incredible at cutting out constant low frequency sounds, like that bus or plane noise I mentioned. But they're not as good with higher frequencies or unpredictable sounds, like people talking or sudden sharp noises. So it's not total silence, but it can be really close. And that's a game changer for a lot of situations. So, if you're wondering, should I get noise cancelling headphones? Think about where you'd use them most. They're amazing for travel, for working in public places and even at home if you need to block out distracting background noise. But if you're mostly in quiet spaces already, the extra investment might not be worth it. Now, some of the latest headphones have something called adaptive ANC. These actually adjust the level of noise cancellation automatically based on your environment. So if you're walking down a busy street, they might go full power. But if you're in a quieter space, they ease up a bit. This is great for conserving battery and for staying aware of your surroundings when you need to. Of course, ANC isn't perfect. There are a few downsides. For one, the tech can make the headphones slightly heavier. There's also the fact that active noise cancellation uses up battery power. So if you're using wireless headphones, you might find you need to recharge them more often. And some people report a mild pressure sensation when ANC is on. Kind of like when you're going up in an elevator. Though this is more noticeable in some models than others.
So, which ANC headphones are the best? Well, it depends on your priorities. If you're looking for the absolute best ANC experience, the Sony WH-1000XM5 and Bose QuietComfort 45 are two of the top picks. The Sony model is known for excellent sound quality and battery life, while Bose has long been known for really comfortable wear and top-tier noise cancelling. If you're into Apple products, the AirPods Max are also really solid for ANC, though they're definitely on the pricey side. So, are noise cancellation headphones worth it? If you're someone who's often on the move in noisy spaces or just needs a little quiet, I'd say absolutely yes. They might not be able to cancel out every sound, but the difference they make is pretty incredible. Thanks for joining me today and let me know in the comments. Do you think ANC headphones are worth it? And if you already have a pair, what do you use them for the most? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights like this. See you next time.